Hi, my name is Jason. I am a patient service rep with Connects Medical. And today I'm here to demonstrate our CPM machine, which is also a continuous passive motion machine. Uh, what this uh, device is used for is for patients who've had either a knee surgery or a hip surgery. Uh, it's for their rehab post-op. Um, what the machine does is very gently bends and extends the patient's leg for them. Here on the shin, we would loosen and stretch out. We want to make sure whenever we're fitting this for a particular patient that this pivot point is going to line up with the patient's knee. So this will telescope back and forth depending on the length of the patient's leg. Um, if the patient is a little extra tall, we can also adjust it down here on the femur section of the machine. Uh, to do that, we would just first raise up the angle of the unit and you can see where the bending occurs. That's why it's very important to line the patient's kneecap up with that pivot point. And we can stop it and then bring this up by loosening these two bolts on the side. And that gives us a little more length and adjustability depending on the height of the patient. Here as well, we can also adjust the angle of the patient's foot. Uh, ideally, typically we want them at a 90 degree angle. That just uh, helps a little bit whenever the machine is uh, extending um, back and forth. But if the patient is feeling a little discomfort, if their foot isn't able to do a complete 90 degree, they can adjust it back and forth there. There's also another adjustment. Some people are a little pigeon-toed or duck-footed, if you will, and this bolt, typically, you could loosen up and tilt this from side to side, depending on what's comfortable for the patient. Ideally, when I'm setting up a patient, I prefer to do it prior to their surgery. That way they're not dealing with any pain or discomfort, but sometimes that's just not possible. So we're still able to set them up post-surgery. Just have to be very gentle and delicate, obviously. Uh, we've got Danny here. He's gonna help demonstrate uh, how we do the fitting for a particular patient. So Danny, if you just wanna hop up there on the table. So what we do is we have this little strap here. We're gonna loosen that. Danny's gonna kind of get comfy. Just go ahead and lie back. So as I said, we wanna make sure that we're, we're lining this portion up with the knee. We're a little off there. Normally we wouldn't have a shoe on either, but that's okay. So we're gonna lengthen this a little bit this way. I'm gonna just gently tighten it down and then I'm gonna hold his leg up and slide that toward him a little bit. And then we can see, yeah, we're good and lined up there. Then, when the patient's ready to use it, always want to make sure that they strap this around the ankle, and then they can strap this band around the thigh, and that's just to keep them on the correct plane. Okay, so this is the, the patient remote, and this is where you're going to adjust your settings. Uh, you've got these two little icons here that are very easy to uh, read. Obviously, you've got the straight leg icon, which is your extension, and the bent leg icon, which is your flexion. So to make your adjustment, you just press and hold either one. The screen will tell you which one it is. This is the extension. Currently, it's set at zero degrees. Uh, we can adjust it to go as low as negative 10 uh, if the doctor wishes that. Um, it's really up to that particular doctor's protocol. And the flexion is currently set at 90 degrees, but this can go as high as 120 degrees if needed. Again, it just depends on the doctor's protocol. Uh, the button under here looks like a little ramp. That is the speed. So this particular machine goes as fast as 150 degrees a minute. Uh, it's completely up to the patient how fast they want it to go. Usually the doctor doesn't have much input. Um, there is you know, a school of thought that the more cycles, the better. So the faster, the better. But again, that's completely up to the patient. Uh, the little timer down here is a pause delay. You can set a pause for the extension or the flexion, however many seconds you want. That's mostly for knees, ACL repairs, uh, and this promotes an extra stretch at the top and the bottom, which is beneficial to the patient. A little exclamation triangle button, that's deactivated. That's for in-hospital use only. Um, and these buttons are for extended features. This is for the clinician. The patient does not need to worry about that. And then the red button is the stop and the start. So when the patient hits start, the machine will go and it will show you in real time the current angle. 
Uh, if at any point uh, the increase of angle is causing any discomfort, the patient can hit the stop button. It'll immediately just pause, stop right where it's at, start again in a reverse direction, and go back down. It won't continue up when you start it. So, Danny, I'll give you that. You can go ahead and hit the red button and see how it feels. So you can see I've got him at max speed, even at full speed, it's really not that fast. It's, it's very gentle, gradual movement. At any point, if the patient is experiencing any pain, they can hit the stop button, it'll stop right there, and then when they restart it, it'll reverse direction and go back down. It also shows in real time on the screen the, the angle that it's at currently. Usually a big misconception that patients have when they're using this, especially post-op, is they think it's gonna hurt, uh, it's gonna be painful. They're usually very pleasantly surprised at what a relief it is, getting everything moving, how good it feels. Um, a lot of times patients, when they have the hip repair, they have to have both done, usually about six weeks, two, three months apart. Um, there's been several times where I'll set up a patient that's already had one procedure, I go back to set them up again and they just tell me how glad they are to get this machine again because it felt so good to them just with pain relief and getting all that tension out. So um, just the, the movement uh, in and of itself is you know, really beneficial to the patient and helps cut down on any pain.